A report published in the National Interest suggests that Iran's purchase of Russian Su-35s would make Iranian airspace a more pernicious place to operate for enemies. Iran's potential purchase of dozens of Russian Su-35 aircraft would give an unprecedented boost to Tehran's control over its airspace, especially in case of an aerial military confrontation against the Israeli occupation. An article written by Kan Kasapoglu and published in the National Interest reported. In late December, some reports revealed that Russia will soon be providing Iran with a complete squadron of Su-35 fighters in the near future. Marking a new era in Russian-Iranian cooperation, as the West keeps trying to isolate the two nations through unilateral sanctions. The commander of Iran's Army Air Force Hamid Behedi had announced that Iran is looking at purchasing Russian Su-35 fighter jets. Despite some Western assessments tending to downplay Iran's potential acquisition of the aircraft, believing that it would not drastically change the air power balance in the Gulf, the purchase manifests a grim calculus for the West, the report suggested. It indicated that contemporary military transactions between Tehran and Moscow have unveiled a new geopolitical episode, adding that Washington and its allies are now facing a more aggressive and hostile axis than ever. The writer described the Su-35 as a very lucrative catch for Iran, as the aircraft is a Russian 4.5th generation air superiority fighter that has a better thrust-to-weight ratio than its predecessor, the Su-27, explaining that the platform is capable of performing controlled maneuvers that would otherwise be impossible via regular aerodynamics. The National Interest Report said that although Iran's purchase of the Su-35 alone would not turn the Middle East's military balance upside down, it will definitely make Iranian airspace a more pernicious place to operate, especially in the case of what Israel calls a preventive strike against Iran's nuclear program. This is significant because, according to the report, except for Israel, U.S. allies in the Middle East do not operate fifth-generation stealth tactical aircraft, adding that no expert can claim absolute superiority, favoring the 4th and 4.5th Western aircraft against the Su-35. Touching on a hypothetical so-called Israeli preventive strike against Iran and a confrontation between the Israeli F-35I and Iranian Su-35, The writer believes that Israel will have a very limited, if any, chance for dispatching combat search and rescue missions in hostile Iranian territory. According to the writer, given the military geostrategic imperatives, Israeli aircraft will not have all the time in the world to accomplish their missions and head back to its bases, as Iran's Islamic Revolution Guard Corps would be after every single Israeli pilot to gain political leverage. In other words, Israeli F-35 is will have to operate deep in Iranian airspace, protected by a network of layered defenses, as well as the Su-35 caps, the report said. In addition to the Su-35, the National Interest Report claimed that Iran might be very close to purchasing an S-400 deal, which would decidedly alter the risk assessment of an Israeli occupation strike on Iran. The writer concluded the report by suggesting that Iran's Su-35 procurement is not only a defense deal, but also a strategic manifestation, proving the bitter cost of appeasement and naivety of the West.
In return, Iran is getting a pretentious defense package from Russia. The bad news is that the planned Su-35 deliveries might only be the tip of the iceberg. Hypothetically, Russian anti-ship missiles and strategic SAM systems would provide Iran with critical capabilities. Certain Soviet remnant missile engine technologies can even help Iran develop intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBM, suitable to carry strategic nuclear payloads. The geopolitics of the new challenge is highly dynamic. Tehran and Moscow have maliciously established a military logistics route stretching from the Caspian Sea to the Don Volga Canal and the Sea of Azov. Iranian drone proliferation is now an eastern flank challenge to NATO. Likewise, advanced Russian air superiority fighters will soon protect Iranian skies when the regime is moving closer to obtaining a nuclear warfare capacity. These besetting developments happen because nations like Russia and Iran exploit any sign of weakness. After all, NATO's frontier in Eastern Europe is now plagued with mass graves, like the ones in Butcha and Izium. But Vladimir Putin is well aware that the Biden administration will not provide Ukraine with ATACMS tactical ballistic missiles. The ruling elites of Iran, who are currently busy with drumhead courts and mass executions, know that their drone and missile transactions with Russia mark a clear violation of the United Nations Security Council Resolution 2231.